a shell of crumbly short crust, a rich and scrumptious pasty cream, and an avalanche of fresh, red, juicy strawberries with their taste of forest and candy floss. Today we're going to make both children and grown-ups happy with one of the most beloved desserts ever, strawberry short crust tart. Let's start! Let's start with the short crust. I'll take care of the sanding first, inserting the flour in the mixer, along with the fridge cold butter, and a pinch of salt. I start the blades on and off like this to prevent overheating the butter. Here is the sanding mixture. I can add the powdered sugar, already sifted, one egg, and lemon zest. Mind you, pick an organic or untreated one and make sure you only grate the yellow part, not the underlying white that is a little bitter. Now I close it and start the blades again, this time at low speed, to knead the mixture without blending it. Dough made. I transfer it to the worktop. I knead it quickly and shape it into a loaf. I wrap it in cling film and I let it rest in the fridge for at least half an hour. But I have it ready. I soften it slightly by heating it with a rolling pin. I flour the board and I knead it into a disc. Once I get a diameter compatible with that of the mold, I wrap the disc around the rolling pin and I unwrap it in the cake pan already greased and floured. I trim the edges with the rolling pin. I collect the exceeding pastry that can be used for some tasty biscuits. I pierce the bottom with the tines of a fork. Then I place some parchment paper and some weights for blind baking. Of course, if you don't have them, you can replace them with dried beans or rice. And the base of my tart is ready to bake at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Then I'll remove parchment paper and weights and continue for another 7-8 minutes. Now I can take care of the syrup with which I will brush the strawberries to preserve them. I pour water in a saucepan sugar and then I let it melt gently. I stir and add the lemon juice that I have already filtered. I leave to reduce for a few moments. I transfer everything in a bowl and let it cool. My short crust is baked and cooled, and here is some pastry cream that I prepared following the recipe and the procedure that you can find on Giallo Zafferano. I'll fill my tart. I level it with the spatula to the edges, and I can take care of the strawberries. I have already washed them, so I remove the stem. I cut them in half lengthwise, keeping only one uncut to place it in the center. If the saying had been a basket of strawberries a day keeps the doctor away, I'm sure that many would have followed it, because strawberries with a sweet and juicy taste are among the most popular fruits ever. Their season, however, is relatively short and starts late in the spring, so don't be tempted by the supermarket's winter strawberries. Nature has its timing, and winter brings apples anyway. I'll distribute the strawberries in concentric circles, starting from the edges. 
Of course, if you find smaller strawberries, you can also decide to leave them whole. The same applies if you opt for wild strawberries. Only the last touch is missing, a brush of syrup. And now I just have to let my tart rest in the fridge for 3-4 hours. Here it is, my strawberry tart in all its irresistible simplicity. I'll link down below the photo recipe on Giallo Zafferano where you can find the doses, the whole procedure explained step by step. If you like this video, don't forget to leave us a nice like and if you have any questions, write them in the comments. Ah, and if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel. Buon appetit!